hi friends welcome to all in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity testing connectivity with the trace route before coming to this packet tracer activity friends if you are watching our channel first time or not yet subscribed consider subscribing huh, and don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video right coming back to our packet tracer activity we will see the objectives of this uh, activity in part one test end-to-end -end connectivity with the trace set command then compare to the trace root command on a router we will come to part one test end-to-end -end connectivity with the trace set command send a ping from uh, one end of the network to the other end click pc1 and open the command prompt then ping to pc3 at 10.1.0.2 what message is displayed as a result of the ping we will verify that uh, we will uh, see the ip address of a pc3 we will go to command prompt and here we will give ip config here we can see the IP address. We will copy this address. Then we will go to PC1. Okay, here this label is not clear. And here is our PC1. Okay, so here we can see that. Desktop command prompt and we will ping to PC3. And here we can see the message destination host unreachable. It's failed. Right, coming to step two, trace the route from PC1 to determine where in the path connectivity fails. From the command prompt of PC1, enter the tracer 10.1.0.2 command. Yes, we can do that. Coming to PC1 again, command prompt. Here we will give tracer to PC3. Okay, here we can see the same IP address. Request timed out. And when you receive the request timed out message, press Ctrl C. Uh, what was the first IP address listed in the traced output? Okay, here we uh, receive this request timed out, so we will press Ctrl C. And here we can see the first IP address uh, listed in this uh, tracer. It's uh, 10.0.0.254. So it's obviously the default gateway of this PC1. We will verify that. Here we will give ipconfig slash all. And uh, here we can see the default gateway. Yes. Next is observe the results of the traced command. What is the last address reached with the traced command? Okay, coming back to PC1, here we can see uh, the command, the IP address uh, we received uh, last. It's a 10.100.6. Yes, correct. Now coming to step 3, correct the network problem. Compare the last address reached with the tracer command with the network addresses listed on the topology. The furthest device from the host 10.0.0.2 with an address in the network range found is the point of failure. What device have addresses configured for the network where the failure occurred? Right, here in this uh, result of this uh, tracer, here we can see the second IP address. It's a 10.100.100.2. Uh, here coming to the topology here we can see the network address uh, so it's in the router B then the next address here we can see it's uh, dot 6 and the topology here we can see the network 100.4 it's in this uh, router C right so what we will do we will verify from this router itself we will go to router B C L I and uh, here we will give enable show IP interface brief 
and here we can see the IP address uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 right so we will go to our C CLI show IP interface brief we will verify the IP addresses here here we can see the address uh, for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Okay, now click router C and then the CLI tab. What is the status of the interfaces? Okay, just now we verified that. We will go to router C. And here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Status up. Protocol also up. Now compare the IP addresses on the interfaces with the network addresses on the topology. Does there appear to be anything extra ordinary? We will verify that. Okay, correct. So coming to router C. Okay, now we will go to our topology and we will verify uh, the interfaces. So here we can see it's uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and uh, Okay, it's 4. So 5 and 6. Okay, it's correct. Then coming to the next router, router C. And here we can see the interface. It's a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see that. And the network address, it's 100.8 slash 30. That means only two usable IP addresses. Uh, 100.8 9 and uh, 100.10 oh here we can see they given 17 uh, here uh, uh, the IP address they set incorrectly for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 make the necessary changes to restore connectivity however do not change the subnets what is the solution obviously we will uh, reassign the IP address for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 Okay, we will verify the IP address on the other link. It's a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Sure, we will verify that. Show IP interface brief. So here we can see they given 10. Uh, so we can use dot 9 here in this router C. Coming to this router C, we will uh, go to this uh, interface, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Configure terminal, we will go to the interface, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we will set the IP address, it's uh, 10.100.100.9, then the submit to mask to 55. Dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty two. Yes. Now coming to step four, verify that end to end connectivity is established. From the PC one command prompt, enter the tracer ten dot one dot zero dot two command. Observe the output from the tracer command. Was the command successful? We will verify that. We will close this router. C and we will go to PC1 so we will uh, try to ping it to PC3 it's here and we are waiting for the replies it's working packets send for received for lost zero even we can try with the tracer it's here and here we can see trace complete reach the destination next we will go to part 2 compare to trace route command on a router 
click router A and then the CLI tab. Enter the traceroute 10.1.0.2 command. Did the command complete successfully? We will verify that. We will go to router A, CLI, enable and here we will give the traceroute command and the IP address 10. It's uh, here we can see 1.0.2. Yes, it's succeeded. Here we can see the destination. Next is compare the output from the rural trace route command with the PC trace set command. What is noticeably different about the list of addresses returned? Okay, right, so we will go to PC1. command prompt and here we can see the tracer result yes here in this uh, PC1 we can see we got total 5 IP addresses but here in router A we got only 4 addresses so we will uh, come back to our topology here from this topology we can identify that when we trace route from this PC1 we will get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 IP addresses when we do it from router A, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, that's a difference. Now, coming to part 3 using extended trace route. In addition to trace route, Cisco IOS also includes extended trace route. Extended trace route allows the administrator to adjust minor trace route operation parameters by asking simple questions. As a part of the verification process, use extended trace route on router A to increase the number of ICMP packets traceroute sends to each hop. They are given a note here. Windows Tracer also allows the user to adjust a few aspects through the use of command line options. Ok, click router A and then the CLI tab. Then enter the traceroute and press enter. Notice that just the traceroute command should be entered. We can do that. We will go to router A and here we will give only trace route. Then we will press enter. So here we can see it's prompted for the IP address. Right. So answer the questions asked by extended trace route as follows. The extended trace route should run right after the last question is answered. Yes, that can be done. So here we can see protocol IP. It's IP. Yes, so here we are not going to give the IP address. It's the protocol. Uh, we will give your IP. Then we'll press enter. Next, we have to specify the target IP address. So it's 10.1.0.2. We will give that here. 10.1.0.2. Next is source address. Okay, here we can see the source address. It's a 10.100.100.1. So we will copy this address and we will give here. Okay, next numeric display. No. Timeout in a seconds. Three. Probe count. Five. Minimum time to leave. Okay, it's one. Then maximum time to leave. 30. And here we can see the trace route result. Here uh, they're given a note. The value displayed in brackets is the default value and will be used by trace route. If no value is entered, simply press enter to use the default value. Okay. How many questions were answered with the non-default values? What was the new value? So here itself we can see that uh, the probe count, the default value is a 3, but we given 5. Remaining all other values we given the default value. Next is how many ICMP packets were sent by router A? It's obviously 5. Here we can see they're given that note here. Probe count specifies the number of ICMP packets sent to each hope by traceroute. 
A higher number of probes allows for a more accurate average round-trip time for the packets. Next, still on router A, run extended trace route again, but this time change the timeout value to 7 seconds. We can do that. Here we are going to give trace route, protocol IP, target IP address, And the source address we will copy from here. Okay. A numeric display. No. Timeout in seconds. Yes, this timeout value we are going to uh, change to 7 seconds. So we will give here 7. Probe count. You will give 5. Minimum time to leave. 1 maximum time to leave 30 and here we can see the result what happened how does the different timeout value affect trace route yeah it's the timeout parameter informs the trace route how long it should wait for a replay before declaring the hope unreachable and we have seen the default value is here 3 seconds and finally, can you think of a use for the timeout parameter? Obviously, this uh, timeout parameter is uh, very useful. Uh, if the path is too congested but still operational, then this uh, timeout value to ensure trace route waits long enough before declaring the hop unreachable. Okay, that's all in this uh, packet tracer activity. That is testing connectivity with the trace route. And here we can see the completion status. It's 10 out of 10. So friends, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And just stay tuned. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.